Welcome back to SmartLink Basics, your go-to source for mastering Excel functions and boosting your productivity. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore the sort function. This function is incredibly handy for organizing your data based on various criteria. Let's jump right in. The Excel sort function allows you to sort the contents of a range or array. The syntax of the sort function is listed at the bottom of the screen. Here's a brief summary. The array, the range or array you want to sort. This is the only required argument. The sort index is optional. This is the column or row number in the array by which to sort. The default is 1, the first column. The sort order is also optional. It is the order to sort. Use 1 for ascending and minus 1 for descending. The default sort order is ascending. The by call syntax is also optional. True sorts by columns and false sorts by rows. The default is false, which sorts by rows. Let's walk through an example. Open your Excel workbook and locate your data. Make sure it's organized in a table or range. For this example, we have a table with employee data, including ID, name, department, and salary. Select the cell where you want the sorted data to appear. We'll use cell F1. We want to sort our data by salary in descending order, so we'll use the formula displayed on the screen. Enter this formula in cell F1 and press Enter. You should now see your data sorted by salary from highest to lowest. If we wanted to sort in ascending order, we would replace the negative one at the end of the formula with a one. We can also sort by multiple criteria, if we want to sort by department first, then by salary within each department, we can nest the sort functions as displayed on the screen. In this example, the 3 comma 1 at the end of the formula represents sorting the data by the third column of our array in ascending order, in this example the department. The 4 comma negative 1 in the nested sort function yields a secondary descending sort of column 4, in this example, salary. We can also dynamically sort data. To filter and sort data dynamically, combine the sort function with the filter function. For example, to filter employees with salaries above $70,000 and sort them by salary, use the formula listed on the screen. In this example, we are filtering cells A2 through D16, we only want to display rows where the value in cells D2 through D16 are greater than $70,000. And that's it. You now know how to use the sort function in Excel to organize your data efficiently. Thanks for watching and happy sorting. We hope this tutorial helps you master Excel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, SmartLink Basics, for more tutorials and tips.